She takes that refugee to town and keeps her eyes down on the ground as if she's waiting for the earth to open up. Hey guys, so long time no see. I know I have been MIA again for another three months, I think. Yeah, so anyway, the last time I saw you was in my Valentine's Day nail art tutorial, and in that video, I said that I finished my thesis, which I did, but then I still have the thesis defense day in March, and then we still had to do the revision for the hardcover version and stuff like that. And then I'm also moving again, which is why the background is different. That's kind of took a while to, to get the house ready and stuff like that. But I'm glad that I'm back to making video for you guys. Uh, I have several videos planned out. Um, the next one I think will be like a morning routine sort of video, and then. The one after that will be another nail art tutorial, so I hope you guys excited for that. Let's get into the tutorial. You'll need a piece of paper and also some nail polish remover ready and a strapper brush. Now the first thing you want to do is dip the strapper brush into the um, nail polish remover. And then on a puddle of nail polish, I'm using a purple nail polish here. Just uh, dip your brush and then take off the excess nail polish so that you can get a thin line. Now what I'm doing is just creating diagonal lines. And then every few lines when the nail polish on your brush started to get a little bit dry, what you want to do is clean the brush with the nail polish remover. And just like before, after that, you just want to dip the brush back into the nail polish bottle and then take off the excess nail polish and start drawing the lines again. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating crisscross pattern on my nails. And just like I've said before, the easiest way to create a thin straight line is by rotating your finger so you want to keep the brush uh, relatively still you still want to give it like a little bit of drag but you mainly want to guide your brush by rotating your finger if that makes any sense all right so once you've had this crisscross diagonal lines we are going to make the infinity flowers now to make the infinity flowers all you want to do is just create curves along the lines of the crisscross pattern the easiest way I found to create a nice curve is by drawing a half of a curve from each side and then just connect the curve in the middle. And for me personally, this just makes a nicer curve rather than if I just uh, draw a full curve all at once in one swipe. And that's pretty much it actually, just draw a bunch of these curves. And then after I've done creating a bunch of the curves on the line, the next thing I'm going to do is take a toothpick and just create some little dots on the intersection of each flowers. And this is completely optional but I happen to have this hexagonal glitter in purple, so I'm going to use that. Now, to use it, I'm just going to put some glitter nail polish on the paper and then use a toothpick to put on the glitter nail polish on the dots of the flowers and the glitter nail polish will act as a glue for the glitter. And then for the rest of my nails, I just did a simple purple ombre nails and I already have a tutorial on how to do ombre nails so I'm going to put the link to that down below and also on the screen. And that's it! All you have to do is just put on a top coat and you're pretty much done! Oh, and make sure that your design has completely dried before you put on the top coat. So that's it for the tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do recreate it, please send me the photo to my Instagram because I would love to see them. I have been collecting uh, the photos that you guys sent me of your recreation and I'm planning to make it like a collage sort of thing, um, I still haven't figured it out yet but anyway yeah, if you do recreate it, don't forget to send it to me because I would really love to see them. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you guys next time, bye!